Hey guys, in this video we are going over the code on how to teach a four-wheeled robot, the Leatherback, to navigate through waypoints. You can find the community project on the newly created platform called Litchi AI Hub, where you can find Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab video tutorials, guidelines and many other resources from other content creators and community members. You can access the platform on litchiai.notion.site or by clicking the link in the video description below. Okay, so once you're on the platform, you can click on Isaac Lab, Projects, and find the Leatherback Community Project. In here, we have already covered part one on how to set up and run the training. You can find it on the Robotics Club channel. Welcome to the Leatherback tutorial series. Here we covered how to get the files and run the training. And in part two, I will cover all the underlying code to make the training possible. Okay, so I have divided the code into three parts, the training in plain scripts, the Leatherback configuration, so the 3D file, or rather the USD and its parameters, and then the main part where we write the main logic. Okay, so we are starting with the train in the play script. There we will learn how to train the robots by leveraging the SKRL library, which supports efficient vectorized training and also operates with the OpenAI Gymnasium framework. These are needed to register the environment to allow for reinforcement learning using algorithms like PPO. So first of all, I highly recommend watching the training and registering robots tutorial where we went over most of the steps. You can find the documentation also on the platform and the video connected to it. For now, let's take a look at how to run the training again. So when we are inside Isaac Lab, we copy this code, paste it, and this allows us to run the SKRL library training script. And we run the task ID Isaac Leatherback Direct V0 that we will register later on in the video. And then we specify the 32 environments that we want to have. So like that, we end up with 32 environments, which are evenly spread it, and it's starting to learn right now. And so within the Isaac Lab directory, we can find the script under scripts, reinforcement learning. Then we have an option of four different libraries. We go to SKRL and there we find the training and the play script. So if we run the Python script and type dash dash help, we will see all the commands that we can use. I've listed them here. For example, we can record videos. We can have the number of environments, a seed, the algorithm, and many other arguments, for example, headless. Okay, now coming to the plain script, it is very similar. In here, we can specify a task and the number of environments, for example, and it will automatically choose the best checkpoint that we have trained to this point. And you can find the checkpoints under the logs, the SKRL, Leatherback Direct in our case, and then the latest one will be played and it will use the best agent. It is also possible to choose a specific checkpoint, for example, the agent 960. So if we were to run the specific checkpoint, we can see the Leatherback's performance up to this point. And like I've mentioned before, if you want to know more, check out the training in registering robots tutorial. This you can find under Isaac Lab and intermediate videos, and it will be the fourth. Okay, now let's continue with the Leatherback configuration. Here we will have one file that you can find under source, Isaac Lab assets, assets again, robots, and there you have the leatherback.py. In here we will define the configuration. So the robots use deep model path, the physics properties and limit, initial robot state and position, and the throttle and steering actuator settings. This is very similar to the cardboard tutorial that we have where we defined the articulations. So I highly recommend watching this as well. I've covered the full code here, but I will not go over everything. We'll just talk about the main parts. So first of all, we will load a USD. If you want to know about USD, you can check out the open courses, which I've linked here. Uh, open USD stands for Universal Scene Description and is just perfect for any 3D workflows. So I highly recommend learning this as well. If we take a look at the USD, we will see that we have four revolute joints for the wheels, which are marked in blue here, and two revolute joints for the knuckle, which allow for the steering. And these are marked in red here. So inside the file, you can see that we have loaded the USD path here, which is defined at this place. We will see where it's located later in the video. But for now, we want to create an articulation configuration with a lot of settings. These allow for basic physics properties and the joint systems. We can then have an initial state, which you can find here. Here, we just define the position and the joint positions. So we will place the robot just slightly above the ground level so it doesn't interact with the ground. And then we set all wheel and steering joints to starting positions of zero. Finally, we have some actuator settings, which are for the throttle and the steering. For example, we want to control all wheels and all steering joints. This is done by the regex. And then we also have some other settings like effort limits and velocity limits, as well as stiffness and damping settings. After having looked at the training and now the Leatherback configuration scripts, we are coming to the main part, which will be covered in the upcoming video, as this video would take too long. I will release it within the next three days, as I promise to upload more frequently. You will find it here on YouTube and also on the platform. 
Subscribe to not miss any videos and if you want to support this channel, liking and commenting would help a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.